Hey, I'm Patrick from the National Film Society. A friend of mine recently reached out and asked me for advice on how not to be a hater when your friend does well. It's like when you're hanging out and you're like, Hey man, how you been? Great. I just had a meeting over at Disney and I think they're gonna let me direct their next three movies. Oh, just three? Whoops, no, I meant 30. <sighs> You should be happy for your friends, but you get this gnawing feeling inside. Maybe you're a little jealous. Maybe you have a fear of missing out on something. Maybe it's filmmaker FOMO. That's right, a filmmaker fear of missing out. We've all had that feeling at some point or another, and more likely than not, someone's had that feeling about you, and you just didn't know it. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It's natural, especially if you're ambitious and competitive. Oh, that's great. I wrote a hit play and directed it. So I'm not sweating it either. So here are three ways to say no to FOMO. One, don't let social media eat you alive. Clearly Facebook, Twitter, and the like have their own greater issues, but even before the fake news problems, there are already places where you could start feeling a deep sense of FOMO. Others doing things you're not, succeeding in ways you're not, progressing in ways you're not, and it can strike at any time. Let me try it out right now. That dog's not even cute. That dude? But he smells. See? Just like that. But, out of sight, out of mind. Two, let it light a fire under your ass. Basically, focus on you and what you're doing. It's not always easy, but don't let other people's success slow you down because then you're just screwing yourself. We only have so much time in our lives to be productive, so don't waste it all thinking about pointless stuff. Work harder and smarter, like this guy. I work hard for this. Three, be thankful and never forget. I'm not the most rah-rah person in the world, but I have gotten more appreciative of the opportunities I've had and the awesome people I've gotten to work with. But almost every filmmaker I've known, including myself, sometimes thinks the grass is greener on the other side. No matter how accomplished a filmmaker you are, you might look at the next filmmaker friend of yours and think, how'd that person get his bougie hipster dramedy picked up by Netflix? To that, I say, let go of the negative vibes and always take a moment to appreciate how far you've come and the people who helped you get there. Send thank you notes. Have you ever felt filmmaker FOMO or any kind of work FOMO in your life? How'd you deal with it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thanks to you guys who left suggestions and comments on the last video. Those are some really good ideas. Know that those are on the big whiteboard over here. Thanks, see ya.